We've done sentiment analysis and topic modeling, which are forms of qualitative analysis and big data applications. We've also done traditional statistical techniques in this project as well. Yeah, so once we have the data now applied to the entire group, we can, we can use more traditional methods uh, to identify differences, correlations, um, statistical differences among these different topic groups and, uh, and opinion phrases. So we go back to using some, uh, some Python code using the open source Anaconda uh, tool set to um, run some traditional statistical methods, uh, you know, t-tests, ANOVAs, correlation analysis, uh, to identify, um, first off, if there is any correlation um, among the opinion phrases and in like quantitative values, such as the overall assessment of the, um, uh, the workshops or the webinars, and then to look at any differences among individual topic groups in their sentiment uh, so that we can we can gain insight um, from that. So we use some you know traditional methods, uh, uh, comparison of means using two keys adjustments, so that we can compare. Uh, for example, uh, this would be the negative uh, comments related around uh, artifacts of the training. We would compare that across all of the other uh, different groups: negative design comments, negative uh, effective uh, presentation interaction, and we look and identify how many of those are, are different from one another and how much uh, how many of those are the same and, and walking into that we would assume that the negative comments from the questions that we're asking what could be improved would be statistically different than those that were asking what were the, what the great things or the things that were presented very well uh, in the presentation and, and that that uh, is the case in, in most of these analyses that the positive responses and negative responses are statistically different from one another but at this point, we've translated those models into numerical values for a level of sentiment, uh, level of agreement with the topic, and now we can use those uh, continuous values to do traditional statistical analyses.